what would happen if every human being on Earth disappeared. At some point in the future, this could be the fate of our planet. This isn't the story of how we might vanish. It is the story of what happens to the world we leave behind. The disappearance of humans may seem like science fiction, but eventually there will come a day like this. A day when people no longer walk the earth. It's no great stretch to imagine humans disappearing from the face of the earth. Every generation has its tales of Armageddon or apocalypse. We're the first generation that could, by deliberate actions, cause its own doom. What will life be like after people? Back above ground, food is rotting on supermarket shelves. Home refrigerators become nothing more than containers for decaying food. But meltwater from defrosting freezers may provide a temporary lifeline for some of the creatures we've left behind. What will be the fate of our family pets once there are no humans left to care for them? Right from the get-go, there's going to be a massive die-off of dogs. The instance that humans are gone, that they're not creating the debris or producing the food that the dogs are living on. He can't open cans, he can't get in the refrigerator. He's got to get out of the house. The family dog has got to get out of the house or he's going to die there. And once he gets out, he's got to go to some source of food. One year into a life after people. Towns and cities are still recognizable, but nature is beginning to reclaim her old turf. One of the first great physical effects in the absence of people would be the transition of the impervious surfaces, the parking lots, the roads, into places that supported and then had an abundance of plant life. Five years after people, the roads of the world are disappearing beneath a green map that spreads like some relentless monster. The advance of nature knows no boundaries. The gates of London's Buckingham Palace are easily breached by vines and moss. In Moscow, Red Square is becoming very green. Seventy-five years after people. Most of the 600 million cars that once traveled the roads of the world are now just rusted remnants of the human past. Abandoned cars will behave differently depending on the environment that they're in. A car left in the Mojave Desert, for example, is going to last a long time. A car abandoned in my native Scotland is going to have a very different fate. Any cars in a coastal environment with salt in the atmosphere, 
they might not last more than 20, 30 years. Tires deflate within a few years, although the rubber and synthetics they're made of will remain intact for centuries. Paint deteriorates quickly, and once it flakes away, rust corrodes the car's body at a rate of five thousandths of an inch per year. Seventy-five years after humans, most cars, even in the most forgiving of environments, will be reduced to skeletons. After a century, the family car is a barely recognizable heap of metal.